the biggest mistake that personal trainers make when stretching their clients or athletes is making the stretches too complicated. You want to simplify the stretches so if your client or athlete doesn't train with you, they know how to fit it into their everyday routine. The second biggest myth that I hear in regards to static stretching is if you static stretch before your workout, you're going to lose explosiveness or power. A lot of personal trainers live by that. That's a bunch of garbage. Um, if you're losing power or explosiveness from a simple static stretch before your workout, then maybe you weren't explosive or strong as you thought you were. And the last thing, the timing of the static stretch and the dynamic warm-up. Why would you do this at the end of your workout when you're fatigued? Because most of the, I would say 85 to 90% of the time, after your workout, you're not gonna do your static stretch and you're gonna blow it off. You need to do it at the beginning of the workout so it becomes part of your routine. You should not work out yourself or you should not let your clients or athletes work out until they've done a dynamic warm up and a static stretch. So I'm gonna walk you through a dynamic warm up to get the blood go going and then I'm gonna do a uh, static stretch. So the first exercise I'm gonna do is 25 jumping jacks. Next exercise is touch your toes, touch your hips, touch the sky. Try to place your palms on the floor, just 10 reps. circles to the front and arm circles to the back, 10 reps a piece. To the back now. Now this stretch is for your pec. Just hold on to something. You got a pull right here. Stretch, hold it for 30 seconds. Next, we're going to kick my I'm going to kick my foot to my hand 10 reps on each side. Next, we're going to do 10 bodyweight squats. I'm going to face away from the camera so you can see how deep that I go into the squat. Also, you want to have your feet pointed out a little bit. You want your knees to break outwards and not down in front of you. And make sure you get as deep as you can. I keep my hands on my hips to keep my chest up and to be able to breathe. Next exercise, I'm going to hold on to the pole, I'm going to kick my foot out, I'm going to keep my, try to keep my leg as straight as possible, open up those hips, so let's get it going. 
That was 10 reps on each leg. So now we're gonna do some static stretching. First stretch I'm gonna do is a quad stretch. I'm gonna hold it for 30 seconds on each leg. Make sure you hold on to a pole, hold on to something. I'll stand from the side. Now this next stretch, it's a, pretty much a groin stretch. It's, a, it's just a split, as wide as you can go. Hold it for 60 seconds. Count your head to 60, don't cheat yourself. So let's get as low as possible. Down to my right, both hands, not just one hand. Try to get your nose to your knee. It's stretching made simple there's no excuse not to do it every single time before you work out it's 15 minutes or less it'll keep you injury free you know you, you won't argue with me when you're not getting surgeries or you're not getting uh, little dings and, and being hurt just put it every day in your program do not get too scientific and listen to your trainers that that's going to take away from your power or, or explosiveness or your strength that's a bunch of nonsense you got to get the body warmed up to perform the task at hand, and that's the best way to do it. Keep it nice and simple and right to the point. Thanks for tuning in. Remember to like and subscribe to Fortis Money. Thank you.